Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Gary Crypto here, and let's just jump straight into it. So there is a parameter change that is being proposed and, you know, there is no real, like a lot of people want to see this route that is going to be the golden route, you know, this Goldilocks route. It's perfect. It's not too far from one thing. It's not too far from another. And it sits quite perfectly in the middle. We're never going to get this. We're always going to upset someone. So this in itself is, a, for me, this is um, a good start. It's a very good start into understanding that if we are to pay for updates, we need to support our treasury and our treasury is a community pool. This gives us the ability to uh, pay for updates, for adventures, expeditions, whatever you want to call it, we can pay for it, right? Now, like I said earlier in my previous video, we're about to spend 1 billion from the community pool, leaving us with 350 uh, million LUNC afterwards. This is problematic, problematic for many reasons, because if we want the update, we need to pay for the update and we just don't know how much it's going to be. So let's go through this from the uh, from the start. So our community pool is drastically underfunded relative to our market cap. This is extremely problematic as it reduces the community's ability to fund large capital intensive projects via community spend proposals. As a community led chain, it is now imperative that we ensure the community pool be well funded. I am proposing changing the reward policy rate minimum to 0.5%. This will allow 50% of all burn transactions in a given epoch to be minted into the community pool at the end of said epoch. This in itself is really good because we don't have many routes to fund ourselves currently and we we have this burn tax right that was 1.2% we reduced it down to 0.2% and it is what it is now but moving forward if we don't figure out okay a way to fund our community pool then we're just not going to be able to pay for anything and it's just it's, it really is as simple as that like it couldn't be more simple to explain to people right now that this is actually a huge issue and you're kind of being left with the bite and crunch so once that one billion pool spend is done it's done that once that's distributed it you know we're left with 350 million we need to pay for updates so the primary benefits for this is boot as rapid bootstrapping of the community's capital on hand under the current rate of 0 0.1 um approximately so what's that that's 41 i hate when people space names out like this uh so that's 41 million lunc and uh 26k usTC will be allocated to, to be minted to the community pool and i guess that was what is calculated possibly off of the epoch so under the proposed rate minimum of 0 0.5 for that same seven day time period. So another 205 million LUNC and 130K of USTC would have been allocated to minted to the community pool. This is an increase in the seven day community pool revenues of 164 million LUNC and 104K USTC. An effective increase of 400% for both LUNC and USTC respectively. Once sufficiently capitalized, the Lunt community will have capital on hand to truly contemplate undertaking the work required to finish building the ecosystem. Self-reliance and a well-capitalized pool will allow the LUNC community to rely solely on itself for funding dev work and the ecosystem rebuild out. So I think something that we need to now understand is, is that Terror Rebels have outlined it that anybody can work on the blockchain and this is very true anybody should be able to put an update forward and if the community want to go for that they should be able to fund that update and get it done and this is where it comes down to now we need to ensure that instead of funding specific development you know people we just fund the community pool and everything is dealt from from that community pool and this is the route that's being proposed by Terra Rebels. Obviously, with them not obviously saying to you, you know, you're going to need to pay us from this from the community pool. They're just saying they're moving to a paid uh, working module. And it's as simple as that. It's then down to us as a community, bite or crunch as to how we handle this situation and figure out how we're going to fund this pool. And it's so 
important and like I didn't know at the time of voting for this um you know one billion payout I didn't know terribles were moving to a uh, paid business model obviously you know things get missed information gets missed I know now but if I knew now back then I would have voted no to it and said to people, you know, this isn't actually a good idea because we should look to fund the further development of the blockchain. Otherwise, we're not going to be getting V23. So it's all going to be a very harsh learning curve if the community doesn't pull together right now and instead of rubbing on each other, bounce off of each other and work together to figure out a way where we can all come together and understand that the self-reliance is needed and we need to take it upon ourselves now to address this situation i think this is probably one of the best proposals that's been put up recently which really looks towards the community and actually saying you know we should be funding the community pool relative to funding specific you know development routes and stuff like that because all of the development routes can be paid from the community pool and i've said this from the very beginning that everything should always go to the community pool and we can put out what payments need to go out because if you hire someone to build a house for you you don't pay them to build the house before they've built the house right they'll probably be paid paid in milestones and they'll normally in the uk i know this to be true they'll pay for all the materials they'll do everything and then they get paid at the end of the job and that's normal i don't really know anywhere on planet earth where someone would hire you um to say i dig a hole and they pay you before you dig the hole like it's just it's very normal for this to be going the way it is but what we do need to understand is the learning curve will be pretty much bites a crunch we just won't be able to afford updates and then everyone will sit there and go well what happened and then they'll turn around or people will turn around and they'll say you know well you know everybody voted for this one billion community pool spend so we paid that out um, and you know, now you don't have enough to pay for these updates. So yeah, very interesting. Um, this in itself is a real game changer if it could get put through because yes, people want to see loads of coins burnt and yes, I want to see loads of coins burnt, but at the same time, what's the point in burning any coins if it all collapses under its own weight anyway, because we couldn't actually afford to keep pushing forward and keep paying for updates. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. Do you think this is a really good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Let me know what you think. Be discussing it with the HTC factory, seeing what they think and what their, their opinions are on it. And, you know, the, from where I'm sitting, we don't really have many other routes for direct funding unless we just take it out of the Oracle rewards pool, which is absolutely ridiculous to start doing stuff like that. Because once you dip into that pot once, it then becomes normal for us to go, oh, well, we'll just dip into the Oracle rewards pool again. Oh, no, it's fine. Just take this one from the Oracle rewards pool. Before we know it, people are seeing better percentages elsewhere. You know, we'll start losing people on the chain that are delegating. You'll start losing validators across the board. We'll come out of an active. I'm sure we're still in a uh, active set. Are we still in an active set, guys? Yeah, still in an active set. But, you know, that could change very quickly uh, depending on how the system reacts to getting funding or not getting funding folks stay safe beware of scammers doppelgangers anybody pretending to be me and i'll uh, catch you in the next one Shoop.